Hey what is up guys my name is Shum Kejwal and within this video we are talking about the Xiaomi Mi 4S which the company launched along with the Mi 5 and yes we are about to take a look at some of its specifications and I would be giving my personal impressions about that device and would let you guys know if that is a good buy for your buck. So yes without any further ado let's get started and talk about the Xiaomi Mi 4S. So firstly let us talk about the release date of this device and frankly talking about it here in India I don't have any confirmed news about when it is going to be launched. The Xiaomi Mi 5 is going to be launched tomorrow which is 31st of March but for the Xiaomi Mi 4S I am I'm not actually very confirmed about when it is actually going to launch. The Mi, uh, the Mi 4S was actually launched with the Mi 5 uh, in the China, China event but I don't think that that is going to happen for India and I don't think it, it would be launched tomorrow which is 31st of March. So I don't think that this device is going to be launched anytime soon here in India and thus if you want to buy this device you would have to import it and that would exactly cost you much much more than what you actually pay for the device like if you if you have to pay 19,000 rupees uh, like here in India if, if this device comes in India then importing it would cost you like more than 1.5 times the actual price so you might be if, uh, have to pay like 25,000 or something and that's quite, kind of not wise according to me but uh, yes that is something that you should keep in mind and with that said let us begin with this video and talk about the specifications if you now actually even care so firstly talking about the display we have a 5 inch full hd display 1080 by uh, 1920 and that gives us a pixel density of 441 pixels nothing of a bad news there and yes it is pretty good not 2k not 4k but yes uh, full hd is till yet quite enough so the device also comes with a glass back panel which comes with some kind of a new texture at the back like diagonals lines I see on the back of the device I don't, I'm not uh, directly um, sure about what exactly it is but yes there is some kind of pattern and I think that it is embedded rather than just printed and that should definitely help in gripping but the back is actually made up of glass and that uh, texture is in, in integrated into the glass so yes the back is glass but with a texture and that is what I actually got with after seeing the device. So talking about the additions that Xiaomi has actually placed inside the Mi 4S, we have a fingerprint scanner at the back like where the Redmi Note 3's fingerprint scanner is placed, we have this fingerprint scanner right there and along with that we also have USB type C port here in this device. I was really disappointed when they didn't include in the Mi 5 but uh, yes they included it in this and that is kind of a nice thing. So yes, along with that we also have an IR blaster at the back, at the top of the device, not at the back. And yes, that is again a good integration according to me. So yes, these three integrations which are quite necessary for today's device is kind of into this device and I kind of like it. So the device also comes with dual SIM slot which is a hybrid SIM slot and that means that you can either put uh, two SIMs or one SIM and a SD card. And I don't think that that should be any kind of a problem because if, even if you have two SIM slots inserted into the device, you have about 64 GB of internal storage already. So I don't think that any kind of external storage would be required if you are a gaming freak. And yes, except for that, you can actually cope up with the 64 GB pretty much. And yes, I don't think that in the whole lifetime of the entire phone, you would ever want any kind of an external storage. Talking about the hardware of the device, the device comes with Snapdragon 808 processor inside and that is kind of a very um, power hungry chipset I should say and other than that we also have Adreno 418 GPU and that is again a really nice thing. Along with that we have 3 GB of RAM and I don't think that that is a good integration. They should have at least integrated 4 GB of RAM inside this device and that would definitely make this one of the flagships and yes. Um, I think that that is the main reason why they didn't they do it but yes um, I kind of miss the 4GB RAM variant and yes they included just the 3GB RAM variant and that's kind of a disappointment for me. Other than that the device has 3260mAh battery and that should definitely last you a day at any cost so yes that is nice and as I already told you the device also comes with 64GB of internal storage. Talking about the camera on the Xiaomi Mi 4S we have 13 megapixel sensor at the back and a 5 megapixel sensor at the front and I think that that shouldn't be any kind of problem because we have sensors from Sony again and that is again a really nice thing. Other than that the rear camera is capable of recording 720p videos at 120fps and that is actually slow motion and that is again a nice integration. Talking about the software we have MIUI 7 of course based on Android Lollipop so not Marshmallow of course. But at least it is better than the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4G still running KitKat. Okay, I'm losing it there. 
but coming back to the device um that is basically it for what i had and yes i covered most of the part from it and other than that finally talking about the pricing again um as i already said in the um yuan prices it is around 19000 indian rupees but if Xiaomi plans to bring this phone here in India, I'm not thinking that it is, it should come anywhere bit uh, under the twenty one thousand price pricing. And yes, I think that it is kind of a fair pricing for all these specifications. You can already take a look at all the specifications, and twenty one twenty one thousand should be a very fair price for this device. So yes, guys, that's it for what I had for you guys in this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, do hit the thumbs up button and let me know. And also, you can share this video with your family members and friends. You can contact me on Facebook and if you have any further uh, inquiry or want uh, me to make any video regarding your inquiry you can just go to the comment section below and let me know and I would definitely um, try to make a video regarding your query. So yes, with that said I think we finally get to the end of this video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.